Jonathan Cruck, a storyteller, here at the Van Wyck Homestead Museum in Fishkill, New York, to share some stories of long ago, but not too far away. First, a story about how it happened that Dutch and English and other settlers came to live here in the Hudson Highlands, not far from where the Fishkill runs into the majestic Hudson River. Now, a fellow by the name of Francis Rombout had made a lot of money in the 1680s by trading fur. Thus, he got inspired and went to the colonial governor, Thomas Dugan, and said that he would like to have the permission to purchase land. Well, that meant he wanted to get a patent which would enable him to go and negotiate with the native folk for that land deal. But for the native folk, it meant something entirely different to purchase land. Why? Would you sell your mother? Well, that's how it was to the native folk. Thus, Round and about, oh, in 1682, in the summer, Francis Rombout comes up here, no doubt sailed on a sloop, trudged along the fish kill, and then crossed over the rugged, endless mountains, the Wekichne, as the native folk referred to them. He had sent out maybe a few emissaries, an interpreter, and here, probably right on the other side of the mountain we'll see in a moment, Francis Rombout and Gillian Verplank gathered with 22 Wappinger chieftains. Wappingers. It, it comes from a native word that other native folk used to describe the people who would greet the morning sun as it rose up until their faces looked white like an opossum or Wappinger for short. Well, they stood round and looked at the land, and the native folk said, well, we understand that you wish to come and perhaps hunt and farm, and here and there put your, put your homes. Well, we're willing to let you do that for a time, but what do you propose to give to us? And then, for Plank and Rombout, pulled from their pockets a document and gestured to trunks that they had brought up on that sailing sloop. And then they began to show the things they would give to the 22 Wappinger chieftains. Here is a list from the time. See if you can guess what these things are. One hund royals. One hund pound powder. Two fathoms will write wampum. One hund bars of lead. One hundred fathom of black wampum. Thirty tobacco boxes. Ten whole adges. Thirty guns. Twenty blankets. Forty fathom of duffels. Twenty fathom of strawed water cloth. Twenty, nay, thirty kittles. Forty hatchets. Four homes. Forty shirts. Forty pair stockings. Twelve coats of RB and BC. Ten drawing knives. Forty earthen jugs, forty bottles, forty knives, four anchors rum, ten half vats beer, two hund tobacco pipes, and eighty pounds tobacco. Well, looking upon these gifts, I notice that there were forty of everything it would give, well, about two of everything to the chieftains. Why? 
harbingers were elated. They turned, and in their language of Gonqua, no doubt said, Oh, look at these gifts. We'll let them stay around for perhaps as long as they want. We can continue to be here. After all, these endless mountains, they're like a mother to us. We could never just let anyone take our mother away, would we now? And then, Ron Bount and Verplank said, Well, here are our gifts. What? In terms of acres of land, are you willing to give unto us? Well, the natives kind of looked at one another and they smiled and said, uh, As far as you can see, said the interpreter. And then Rombout and Verplank looked upon one another and gave a gesture and said, Well, let's see what we can see from here. And here's what they did. Come, I'll show you. Right this way. How much land could Rombout and Verplank see? Well, they could see the Fishkill Creek from where they gave the goods to the native chieftains. But they thought, well... If you said we can have as much as we can see, well, let's see what we can see from these Hudson Highlands, from these endless hills. So, I'll show you where they took a look, right out this way. We're looking over a little mall over here. You see, Sour Mountain, and just beyond that, stands over 1,700 feet above sea level, South Mount Beacon. And that's where Verplank and Rombout had the 22 chieftains climb. And there they looked upon 85,000 acres of land that Verplank and Rombout and their descendants soon would lord over. It wasn't long before that land deed got granted, and it became the beginnings of the settlement of what's now Duchess and Putnam Counties. And it took the enterprising Catherine Brett, Katerina Brett, to settle these lands round here. That's going to be a story for another time. Thanks for listening. I'm Jonathan Crook. Storyteller here at the Van Wyck Homestead Museum with another story from the lands along the mysterious, majestic, historic Hudson River.